My next guest takes on Jerome Rivera coming up here at LFA 10 on April 21st. Zach Riley joins me here on the program for the very first time. Zach, how are you? Doing all right. How about yourself? I'm doing very well. Appreciate you taking the time here. And uh, this is the first time I've had you on the show. For uh, those who aren't familiar with your backstory, Zach, how does a nice guy like yourself get involved in a sport like face punching? Uh, I was bullied in high school, so I kind of got beat up a couple times. And then I actually ended up beating up my bullies, so I had to take care of business. Excellent. And were you like a fan of the sport before you started training, or did that sort of come after? Uh, I always watched it. I always loved fighting. It was just hard to get into to actually... The wrestling is what scared me because I was in high school wrestling for half a year and actually my bullies were a part of the wrestling team and so it was kind of hard to to face it but I faced my fears and ended up doing it. So Cool. And, and how much has that sort of helped you grow as a person, you know, being a fighter and you know, sort of overcoming those things that, uh, you know, were challenging you in the past? Oh, it's helped me a lot with the whole... Oh man, there's so much. I, everything I do, I relate to it. So, and then looking back at it, it's it's very humbling, honestly. So, good stuff. Now, are you a, a full time fighter, or do you have a um, a job on the side that sort of pays the bills and everything? Uh, I, right now I'm actually full time fighting, so I'm very thankful for that. I get to my first fight, I get to train full time. Don't have to work. Don't have to worry about anything except for fighting. So I'm very excited for that. So it's gonna be a big big change big differences do you feel like people are finally giving you respect you know it's uh, it's interesting you know you, you had the fight against shy Lindsay, a fight you took on a 48 hours notice you get the win there uh then you took on hugo viana big underdog in that fight you come through in that one and then of course your last fight you get the win over boston salmon um do you feel like people are finally you know starting to say hey this guy's actually legit uh not yet i think people are still questioning me after the boston salmon fight i've watched it after the fight, after the fact, and I still think I won it. The first round I obviously lost, second round and third I came back and won. Even I don't think the first round was even 10-8 round because I was pushing the pace. He hurt me, yes, but I was still backing him up. So I, I still feel pretty confident yeah. I won that. Do you feel like this is the MMA's uh, God's way of uh, repaying you for that loss to Tim Souza? Because that was a fight a lot of people thought you won and, and it went the other way. It could be, but I lost it. That's how I'm going to take. I'm not afraid to accept defeat. Uh, it's a live and learn experience, sir. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy. It, it did happen. It humbled me, and I'm not going back down to 25 anytime soon. But I wouldn't mind redoing that. Uh, did, did it bother you at all when you know Salmon's manager came out with that video and was saying you know what a bad decision it was? Like, do you do you pay attention to stuff like that, or do you just kind of you know move on and say, hey, I got the win? I didn't even know there was a video, honestly. So. Yeah, well, no, was, uh, I think his manager's, uh, is it, is it uh, Brian Butler, I think his manager, was the one who came out and uh, was complaining about the decision, I think. I don't know. It was, it, I just remember when that came out, that was like kind of a thing. So They can mind their own business, I guess. I don't, I don't really care what anybody says about me anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, let's talk about fighting for LFA. Uh, you know, you'd, you'd fought for RFA forever, um, but now, you know, you're fighting for the, the clear-cut number one developmental organization. Um, how happy are you when you were brought back to fight for LFA? I'm excited. I haven't fought in eight months, so I'm ready to show my skills again and i'm 100 percent fighting so i got nothing to worry about no bills no no girl i'm i'm pumped i can't wait to put on a show and i mentioned off the top there you're taking on uh, jerome rivera he's undefeated how do you feel like you match up against him i don't know anything about him i know he won he has a couple wins by submission and one decision win that's all i know i don't really care what he's good at or what he think he thinks he can do uh, I'm going to dictate the pace and dictate the fight, so I'm going to be in control. So it doesn't mean anything to you that he's undefeated, that you could be the first guy to hand him his first loss? The record doesn't matter to me. Whether you're 50-0 and 0 or 1-50, and 50, you can still beat me whether you're, you're winning or losing. It doesn't matter. I like that. Uh, let's talk about your training camp. Who are some of the people helping you get ready for this fight? Well, I got Devlin Bond here. I do How's it going? Training with me. How's it going? We live together now. We have Matt and Flip in the front room. I got Robert Trujillo. He moved in with me for this fight camp, so that's a big help. I'm training training at Jackson's MMA in Pueblo. Thanks to Jeremy Garcia. I'm going up to Pryor MMA with Drew Lawrence and them, with Scott Cleave, Bellator fighters. And I've also trained a few times at 719 MMA, so I've been getting some good wrestling and preparing for that ground game that Jerome's going to bring. And, and, you know, now that you, you're a full-time fighter and you've been doing this, you know, kind of 100%, um, are you able to sort of customize your camp more to the way you want, you know, go do more cross-training just because you have more time? 
just because you have more time. Yeah, I can do so much more. There's a lot, I, lot more I can do. It's, I didn't know it was this great, so I wish I did it sooner. Okay, excellent. Um, how's the weight cut going? We're a couple weeks out from this fight. I imagine that process has already started. I'm already within 10 pounds, and it's going great so far, so I, 10 pounds won't be hard to lose for me. April 21st, what's your prediction? How do you see this fight ending? I'm going to do what I always plan to do, and that's in it as quick as I can, whether it's by knockout submission, and I'm going to do it in the fanciest way possible. I like it, because you don't get paid by the hour, right? you got to go in there and get the uh, quick win. Quick win. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so you are a full-time fighter. I imagine you get a little bit of downtime here and there. Uh, what do you like doing? Are you like a Netflix guy, a video games guy, a sports fan? What do you like doing on your downtime? My downtime, yeah, I guess I am a Netflix guy. I like to go out a couple times every now and then. I'm not a, I don't go to bars or anything. I, I stay away from those situations. I can't put myself in bad situations. So I guess, yeah, I just chill at the house, hang out with a couple friends. And yeah, that's about it. So, <laughs> yeah, so all I do so is work out. I was going to say, so if, if I logged onto your Netflix account right now and I looked under, uh, you know, continue watching, what would it say? What are you watching right now? Oh, we got kung fu movies everywhere. That's all. That's all that comes up. Got Bruce Lee. Got Donnie Yen. I actually can't wait for that uh, It Man Four to come up, come out. I'm excited for that. Excellent. And uh, before I let you go here, uh, this fight is going to be in your hometown. You know what type of reception are you expecting out there, and how much does that pump you up having a fight in your own backyard? Oh, it's going to be great. Uh, I've already sold a lot of tickets to fight in front of all my friends and family from that are here in, in town. Oh man, it's exciting. I can, I just can't wait. I haven't fought in my town since I want to say 2013, so it's been a long time. Excellent. Well, we're certainly looking forward to it. LFA 10 coming up here April 21st live on Access TV. Uh, Zach, appreciate you taking the time, especially when uh, you're in the car and everything. Uh, where can people get a hold of you on social media? And if you got any thank yous or shoutouts, the floor is yours, man. Yeah, thank you. So I got a Snapchat. Follow me there on uh, Z Riley seven one nine. My Instagram is Zach Riley seven one nine MMA. Follow me on uh, Facebook. It's Zachary Riley. Then I have my fighter page, Zach the Anointed Warrior Riley, and my Twitter. I believe is Z Riley seven one nine as well. I'm hardly on Twitter. I don't. I'm not a work Twitter just yet, but I'm getting there. 